Hi, this is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne, and I'm making a fabric collage using painted fabric and a little bit of embroidery floss, and it's going to be mounted on watercolor paper. First, I cut circles from the black fabric, followed some circles that I had stamped on the fabric, and decided how many, just, just cut a few out. And then after I cut them out, I'm going to put them on my ironing surface on a piece of parchment paper with the wrong side or the back side up. I'm going to use Wonder Under 805 and I'm going to put that on top adhesive side down on top of the back of the circles. Using a hot dry iron, I will press so that the adhesive is well adhered to the back of the circles. And then I'm going to cut them out. You could leave the paper, I left the paper on. You could take the paper off and cut them out, but it wasn't working so well, so I went ahead and left the paper on. And then I cut them out. You can let them cool, do let them cool. And then I peeled the paper off, and I took my other pieces and just laid them out and decided where I thought I wanted the circles, and I took a photograph so that I could have that to reference later. And then I set the circles aside again, and I cut my watercolor paper to the size I wanted, along with some uh, fusible Wonder Under, and then I adhered the Wonder Under to the watercolor paper, and then I did the same with my fabric onto it. I cut the splash fabric so that it was just a teeny bit longer than the black. The black was on top, and then I cut a little strip of Wonder Under and placed it under the black on top of the, the uh, splash fabric so that it would just hold that black edge down where the butterfly is. Then I put my circles back on about where I wanted them using my photograph and I was still happy with that so I used some parchment paper and I pressed them on really well. And then I got a piece of foam because I know I'm going to poke holes in through the fabric and the watercolor paper so that I can stitch it. And then on the scrap I just, of paper, I was just trying to decide what, what kind of design I might want. And I also have some little pieces of floss cut there, and I'll show you what I'm doing with that. I first decided the color of the hot pink was no good, so I used this more watermelony color. And I just used those cut pieces of floss and I laid them out. Can I help you decide how, how many strands you want to use and where you want to put them and where I'm going to poke my holes? And I did need, need to use a thimble and, and because I used a needle, but you could try a scratch all or uh, some other kind of tool that's sharp to poke the holes, but I like to do it with the needle. And just poke them about where I want. You could measure if you feel like that would help you better. And then I'm going to start on obviously on the back and when I start I just tape my fabric down because I don't want to pull a knot through right away when I'm going to be putting some pressure on the floss. So that tape will be removed later and I will uh, talk about that later as well. I do have some video of the stitching coming up. So then I'm taking some more of those little cut pieces and deciding do I want a piece to go from these solid circles to hang down from the, the circle that has nothing in the center and I did end up using that. I really liked how it looked like it was hanging down. So here I'll show you, uh, I did some stitches already, but I'm gonna show you. I just put the tape just to hold the end and you could do this with a rhythm and certain stitching so the back looks the same. No one's ever going to see the back once it's really finished and displayed, so it doesn't really matter if you go over the same stitches, no matter how you do it, it'll be just fine. So I made the little stitch and then made a long stitch attaching to that little stitch. And then you could go through that hole or you could go through the hole across from that long stitch and come up and go down. Just I'm looking on the back because I can't, I thought I could just drag my needle, but the hole has a bump around it. So I had to look at the back to actually poke in through the hole. And I will continue on with the same stitch.
So the black fabric was gessoed, I think twice. And then I used uh, some kind of a lid or something to make circles on it using regular acrylic because the gesso was matte finished and the regular acrylic is shinier. So when I made these circles in different light, they shine, they show. I like the fabric heavy like that when I'm doing a collage. It's more like using paper. It does not fray as much as this. You can see the bottom edge on the splash fabric was nice and fray and soft, and I like that too. But the black, the fray is there. It's very tiny. I just really like it for collage. Then the splash fabric was, you can try wet. This I think might have been dry, and then I put some of my watered down fabric paint, Jacquard textile color, you can just use regular acrylic, and then put it in a mister bottle and spritz it all over. And while that's still damp, I did the rings in just black. It was text textile color again, Jacquard. And then they kind of bleed out a little bit, and I really love that. So now I'm just tying a knot. The last, the last back stitch, I will go ahead and just tie a knot. Then I'm trying to decide if I want to continue those to make it look like it's hanging down, and I did. I really like that. So here I cut out some... I cut out just pieces of thread saying, thinking where I'm going to put French knots. And once I was happy with that, I did poke holes around there, again on my foam. And I did go ahead and put French knots. And then I also, you probably saw the lines, the lines that are up there on the right of the black fabric. And I did more lines on the bottom and on the right side. And then I realized the right side was a little bit not straight. So I, there's the French knots and the straight lines and the lines on the bottom but the lines in the upper right there it it wasn't cut quite straight so i took those out and i just cut it straight and just stitched them back on and it was no problem then i was trying to decide if i wanted and i did put a, another link from those t the two left dark circles into the one above i really like how it looks like it's hanging down from that now and they're not totally straight, and I look, it gives it a little bit of movement. So that might not have been intentional, but I like the way it turned out. And then this is the finished piece. I'm really happy with it. I love just the little bit of stitching. It's really fun and easy to stitch once you've poked holes. And I liked how the butterfly is just, just lightly there, just a little suggestion. If you like this project and found it interesting, inspiring, I hope you'll give it a try. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. And be sure and tap the bell so you'll get notification for my most recent videos. This has been Anne. Thanks a lot for watching.